virtual reality environments or VREs for training and learning. The term virtual reality or VR was first used by Jaron Lanier, founder of VPL Research in 1989 when he began to develop goggles and gloves which were needed to experience what he called VR. The significance of virtual reality in the learning process. Research revealed numerous benefits of using VR based approach in the field of education. Most importantly, VR technology allows the development of virtual worlds that mimic the real world, simulating real based incidents and situations, providing the users as a space that suits their needs for training and learning through experimentation. Apart from the fact that VR allows the design of virtual spaces that are identical to the real ones, more importantly, within those environments, the performance of the user can be measured and be used for multiple purposes including training. Also, VR allows the visualization of the educational content, allowing the users to better understand concepts that are difficult to present dynamically in the traditional classroom. Despite the several positive aspects of using VR in education, there are several limitations and challenges that need to be addressed. One of the more significant challenges is to ensure that the design activities of VR applications developed for educational purposes meet the pedagogical objectives that must be achieved, providing the necessary educational added value to learners. VR for Training Teachers Teaching practice in schools with real students is becoming more difficult to accomplish nowadays. Technology might give the answer to the request for a strong training tool in teacher preparation, enabling free service but also in-service teachers to improve the quality of their teaching performance. VR environments can be used for the development of highly effective and professional future teachers that will be successful in the classroom. It will be necessary to put the design and development of these artifacts into the hands of those that experience problems that could be improved with it, and that is the end users. These are the teachers and instructors who have the knowledge and expertise required to create valuable educational experiences. We summarize some of the opportunities and challenges that integration of VR in educational faces. The potential of VR technology has just started to be explored, and more research needs to be done in order to understand how to exploit the benefits of VR in education. Educators need to be informed on the context and applications in which immersive learning experiences would improve the outcomes of traditional practices.